Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Taurus new moon card reading. The new moon was on the 22nd of April and that was also the date of the final 444 portal. So um, the first 444 portal was on the 4th of April, then the next one was the 13th of April and this final one is today the 22nd. Or sorry, yesterday the 22nd. Uh, what is time? Um, so the reason it is a 444 portal is or why they are 444 portals are because for uh, the first four is for the fourth month of the year April the second four is for the dates that add up to four so the fourth of April 13th of April one plus three is four and then finally the 22nd of April two plus two is four the third four is for the four universal year that we are in two plus zero plus two plus zero is four and this 444 portal is a time of really rapid ascension you might be experiencing some big energetic stuff. You guys are very intuitive. You might notice that your intuition is growing. Um, you might be experiencing headaches um, as an air sign, um, and especially for Aquariuses. You are, you know, a, the amethyst is your birthstone, but also um, it's, the, it's associated with the crown chakra. So um, you might be experiencing or have experienced some headaches over the course of this month. You might be experiencing some other ascension symptoms, maybe some digestive issues, aches and pains. Um, you might notice some changes in your energy. You might be really kind of feeling more all over the place than normal, maybe super, super motivated, maybe super, super demotivated, lethargic, um, having a lot of kind of crazy dreams or having your sleep schedule be all off. Um, I'm an Aquarius moon, so I've I've had some just kind of the gambit <laughs> of symptoms, lots of digestive stuff, um, really, really weird, vivid dreams, um, headaches, energy stuff. So um, yesterday was the final 444 portal. So there might be a few days of integration of that ascension that we experienced individually and collectively. So as I mentioned, this is a Taurus new moon. There's also a conjunction with Uranus in Taurus. And so as you probably know as an Aquarius, um, because you are um, ruled by Uranus, um, Uranus is the planet of surprises. It's the uh, planet of shakeups, changes, unpredictability. And because it is conjunct with the new moon and both of them are in Taurus, the things that you might experience some shakeups or unexpected surprises around are things that are uh, more Taurian qualities, concepts, ideas. Uh, so Taurus rules values, um, our personal values, but also um, the act of valuing things. So um, maybe the way that we value others, the way we value money, the way we value time, especially the way that we value ourselves, you might see some changes in your self-worth, um, positive changes, which is always good. You know, we always want to get to this place where we highly value ourselves and we have an accurate value of who we are and what we deserve. Um, Taurus also rules grounding, it's an earth sign. So um, this might be a time that you see some changes in your boundaries, you might experience some things with other people's boundaries. Uh, the 22nd was also Earth Day, so that's a little bit more Earth energy. You know, Taurus is an Earth sign. Um, Taurus rules finances, prosperity, um, money. Also, um, this is a time of growth and liberation. So, um, you know, Aquarius is really value freedom. And, you know, liberation is freedom. When we grow from things and we are liberated through the lessons that we learn, the growth that we experience, I mean, that's just another step towards um, freedom and liberation, further into freedom, which I know Aquarians love. So um, also the new moon is a great time to set intentions. So if you wanna plant some new seeds around uh, boundaries or finances, prosperity, abundance, growth, um, deeper freedom, this is a great time to do that. So I have pulled three cards for you from the Psychic Tarot. And so let's get into that reading. So the first card I've pulled for you is the Truth card. In the traditional tarot, this is the Judgment card of the Major Arcana. And it's a very, very different depiction. If you're familiar with the traditional tarot, it's a very, very different depiction of um, judgment than what we see 
in the traditional tarot. In the traditional tarot, there's a big angel in the sky and there are people being risen from the dead out of their coffins. And so, you know, this depiction of judgment is much, much different. You know, that um, we've got this person, you know, we can say that, that she, or maybe he, is the judge. And there are these two scales. I mean, it's not a traditional scale, but it's this floating scale in the sky and it's looking out on the universe, you know? Um, and this 20 in numerology can be reduced to two. Two plus zero is two. Two is a number of balance, you know? And as we can see, like, they are standing on this platform that's just held by chains. So the fact that it's not moving and swinging is really indicative of some balance, you know? So you might be coming into a place of, you know, discovering some new truths that really kind of help you to ground more into who you are, maybe help you ground more into the collective humanity. Um, Cause I know that that justice and, and things like that are very important to Aquarians. Also looking out this, you know, this person is looking out into the universe, you know, they're looking out into this big open expanse and it feels like um, you know, judgment, the judgment card really makes me think of rebirth, you know, like the second coming, this being reborn, but this card very much feels like possibilities. Ben, please stop. Sorry, I'm having a problem with my cat. <laughs> He's all over the place. I think he wants to be in the video. So if he jumps up here, I apologize. Um, but this feels like, you know, an opening to possibilities that she is looking out into the universe, you know, that she's got this wand. Uh, we can't see what's going on on this upper platform, but it just, to me, it feels like possibilities, manifestation, just really great things. Um, but also being shown the truth, our truth, another's truth. Um, but, you know, when we learn the truth of things, the truth of ourselves, like that is such a liberating thing. So the next card I pulled for you is this third eye chakra card, which, you know, um, the, I mean, <laughs> the only thing more Aquarian would be the crown chakra card. But, you know, the, the truth, having this third eye activation, having this third eye awareness, um, is just, this is just perfectly paired. You know, that when we are able to use that inner wisdom, that third eye wisdom, that connection with intuition, the connection to source, um, that is where truths come from. That is where knowledge comes from. And, you know, um, I feel like this is just, this third eye chakra card is, you know, it's just further confirmation that truths are coming for you, but also um, it feels like a reminder to um, journal, meditate, um, allow those inner things um, that are kind of inside your mind to be able to come out, um, you know, and whether that's like sharing things with someone, but really like the meditation um, feels really strong to me. So, um, if you have a meditation practice, practice, like definitely keep going. If you are like me and you've fallen out of meditation a little bit, this is a beautiful invitation to come back into it. Um, so yeah, like these things are really, to me, they're very paired up that, you know, as we connect deeper with our third eye chakra, those truths will come through much more easily. And then the third card I pulled for you is this justice card. And so as I mentioned, you know, there's with this um, judgment card, there's this feeling of um, manifestation, you know, justice or balance um, being the 11 card. This is really like when we are given like an 11, um, whether it's an 11 universal day, month, year, it's really about connecting to source, having this like main line channel to source. Um, but you know, justice is very much about balance, about balancing the wands, you know, with the swords, the actions we take with the thoughts we hold, balancing, you know, the pentacles and the cups, the energy and the, and the material with, you know, loving intentions. And so, you know, with this angel, like it's just, of course it's beautiful. Um, but you know, with the, the wings and this, 
kind of divine orb, the circle, you know, that like understanding that there's a divine balance to things, you know, that like for the tarot, it's made up of wands, pentacles, cups, and swords, but you know, as human beings and even as souls, you know, there's action, energy, love, and mindset that are all important things. And so, you know, with these two, when we look at the numerology, one plus one is two, two plus zero is two. This is very much about balance. You know, like this overall reading is very much about balance that, you know, there's going to be some external things that come up. There might be some things you manifest that come up that, you know, this inner wisdom of, you know, third eye tapping into universe, source, inner, inner wisdom, higher self is going to provide you with a significant amount of balance and also some manifestation power because of that 11. Um, six is also the number of um, partnerships, love, um, relationships. So, you know, you might see some balancing as well in your relationships that maybe there's some things that you've been manifesting that you've wanted to draw in that are going to start coming to you, you know, that are going to start actually manifesting into the tangible real world realm. Or you might see some rebalancing of relationships partnerships, um, rebalancing of the way that we look at love, you know, Taurus rules, um, value the way that we value the truth, the way that we value ourselves, the way that we value others. So, um, Aquarius, this was your new moon reading. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful new moon and that, you know, you are able to take some time to really dig into what your truth is, what you want to draw in, you know, creating some more balance in your life, especially after these three, four, four, four portals. Um, <laughs> I have quite a few beautiful Aquarius friends. I'm also an Aquarius moon, so I know that it has been affecting us a lot. It's been affecting a lot of people. So I hope that you're able to just be gentle with yourself take some time to meditate, take some time to rest. I'm going to go for a hike later because <laughs> um, I need that nature time. And yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed the reading and just know if there's any unexpected shakeups that happen, um, I just want to remind you that, you know, these are all things that are happening for our best and highest good, for our soul's evolution. And, you know, we don't always like the things that we are confronted with. We don't always like the shakeups that happen, um, but just remembering that these are things that are for our best good, you know, that we're in a benevolent universe that, you know, um, that yes, the unexpected is always for our best highest good. So um, I wish you a beautiful new moon and I will see you for the full moon reading. Bye.